found this fantastic looking truck. I'm not even sure what it is really. I don't know if it's four wheel drive or what, but it looks just absolutely brilliant. Ideal base for an expedition vehicle. Today I'm in Alsace on the French-German border on the French side, uh, staying here for a couple of days in the fire engine. Um, just going on a circular walk through the forests today, probably about 8 to 10k, not too far, uh, to a small village that I noticed on my way here. So I'm going to take you along and uh, have a look at the forest. Every now and again as you walk through the forest you come across these fire breaks. This one's full of ferns. In this area of the northern Vosges there are hundreds of little tracks and trails that crisscross all of the forests. Really great for walking and cycling in. Uh, just walking today, no bike, but uh, still great fun. I've absolutely no idea what type of mushroom that is, so I think it better stay exactly where it is. Trails just come out of the cover of the forest now, just going rising up into the next village. Nice and sunny out today, no clouds at all. Probably about 28, 29 degrees, something like that. Just popping out the forest again now. This trail seems to continue across the meadow which has uh, got lots of crickets and uh, other sorts of small insect noises coming out of it. Quite nice. Found this little lookout behind me nestled in this oak tree. I'm just walking into the next little village now to see what I can find here. I think there's a church uh, to look at and a lake, I think, a little lake. So let's go and see if we can find those. I think this little village really sums up what this region's about. Everywhere, all the street signs are in French, but the buildings feel like you're in Germany. I'm 
map behind me shows you the area and uh, we're in this little village here now uh, it's about five six k walk from where we camped last night just found a really nice blackberry bush on the side of the road and I can never resist a handful of uh, freshly picked blackberries the trail starts to wind its way up now out of the village uh, just looking for the lake um, I think it's around this corner, I think it's a natural lake in the bend of a river, so we'll see what we find. going downhill again now towards where this uh, little river is so hopefully very soon we should make our way to the lake just made it down to this little clearing now we're on a road I think the path is just ahead now for the right on the right so we can go down there and find this little lake there's a couple of cornfields here on this uh, road. The lake is uh, just fenced off behind me. It looks like it's been uh, consumed as part of the garden of these uh, holiday, holiday chalets. So we can't get to it at the moment. We'll see what happens when we get to the end of the fence. So sadly it wasn't possible to have lunch by the lake. Uh, it looked like it was completely surrounded by fences um, for those holiday chalets. So just uh, continuing on the trail now back to where we've uh, camped and uh, into the little town. So. We'll pick that trail up soon. So the path goes down now to this little clearing. I think I've got to go that way down there to the right um, down to the, the road that goes into the village so I'm going to set off that way well the last couple of kilometers now on this trail should take me back down to the village where the fire engine is so let's see how how that goes So just walking back into the town now where the fire engine is that's the end of the walk I think it's probably been about 10k all in total which has been quite nice through the forest shame the last bits on the road but there we are not much on this road and uh, let's get back to the camper now make sure it's still there <laughs> 